Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm back with Disney Villainous on Tabletop Simulator. And in today's playthrough in solo mode, I'm going to be playing as Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. Now, Lady Tremaine's objective is quite obvious. Marry Drizella or Anastasia to the prince. But I have a feeling it's not that simple as it sounds. So... At this moment forward, we're going to draw four cards. And then we'll see what we have in store. Okay, so we have two condition cards. The first one, locked up. During their turn, if another player uh, takes a vanquent action, uh, you may play locked up. Uh, you may place a trap token on a hero in your realm. And one more thing, which is the name of the condition card. Uh, during their turn, if another player takes a discard action, you may play, and one more thing, you may discard any number of cards and draw back up to four cards. Then we have an effect card, which is I said if, which is to shuffle your villain, uh, villain discard pile back into the back into your deck. Draw two cards, which is why I need. And last but not least, we have an ally, which is ball gown ball gown Anastasia. Excuse me, I can't even talk. Uh, you must discard Anastasia from your realm to play ball gown Anastasia. So this means that I need the original Anastasia in order to play this card. But I am going to keep it just because it might come in handy. Also, there is a lock token, which is uh, the ballroom. So we do have um, one location that has three power. Uh, we have Cinderella's room, the music room, the castle, and the ballroom. And right now, this is going to be not so simple because I might have to go. I gotta be careful of why I drag. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and have Lady Tremaine headed to the castle, and I'm gonna have no other choice but to discard two cards, which is this one and this one. And I think that is it. There's nothing else that I can do right now. I can't play anything, even though I would, but I need the amount of power. So, because I landed on a, a location that has a fate symbol, I automatically fate myself. And let's see what we get. We get, let me move this dice here, uh, we get Bruno, which is a hero card. When Bruno is played or moved, move Lucifer to his location, which is completely pointless because... Um, I don't have Lucifer in my hand right now. And then we have Sweet Nightingale. Move an ally to any location, which is also pointless. Even if I wanted to play the Ball Gal Anastasia, it's going to require uh, the original one in order to play this one. So it looks like my fate has been canceled. So now I get to draw two cards. And we're down to 19 rounds. We only have about 20 rounds or turns before we completed our objective. So what we have here is You Little Thief. Defeat Cinderella or Ball Gown Cinderella. Depending on which is which, is which right now. I think this is like an automatic uh, defeat. At least that's what I get from this. Uh, the key. Uh, when the key is played, move Cinderella to uh, Cinderella's room, put a trap token on her, move any hero, move any hero to Cinderella's um, room and put a trap token on them. Which of course it requires an activation, which is in the ballroom. So unfortunately I cannot use that card either. But I am going to put, I gotta be careful, because the last time I played this, uh, I have trouble with uh, with picking things up. 
and it knocks stuff over. So I'm going to have Lady Tremaine head to the uh, Cinderella's room, one, two, gain three power. And what I do is I am going to discard this card here, even though it may come in handy, but there is no purpose of it. But I think I'm going to have to spend two power. I'm going to have to spend two power just to play this card. I must shuffle. I must shuffle the discard pal, which of course you can also press Aura to shuffle. Then place it into your deck. It didn't say whether it's in the top or the bottom, so I'm just going to put it in the bottom for the time being. And then I get to draw two cards. I get to draw two cards. So, one, two. And let's see what we get from this. We got the same one, which is there's still a chance. We have to choose one of the um, uh, actions, which is to move an ally or item, or or activate uh, a certain card, which may be completely pointless in my opinion, simply because I don't have any allies nor anything. Even though I do, I can't play her unless I get the, the original Anastasia. So this is going to be very difficult. And it's an 8, which means I don't get faded. I don't get to draw anything. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and carefully place Lady Tremaine back to the castle so she can gain one power. And I'm just going to have to discard two, even though that is a big risk, discarding these cards. But that's the problem here. The problem is, is that I don't need them right now, especially if everything's clear. And I automatically fate myself, which means I got to see what I get. Oh, we got the glass slipper. The glass slipper does not attach to a hero and must be played to Cinderella's room. Lady Tremaine cannot win the game while a sl glass slipper is in the realm, is, is in her realm. And this one is also pointless because, like I stated, uh, I don't have any allies. So this means that the glass slipper has to go to Cinderella's room because Cinderella is hiding it from Lady Tremaine, and it does not require to attach a hero, and Lady Tremaine cannot win, um, she cannot win the game because Cinderella was the one who went to the ball with the prince, which by the way, my apologies uh, with the spoilers, but if you have seen the movie, you are aware of how this story ends. So it looks like Lady Tremaine, Lady Tremaine is going to have to destroy that slipper to prevent uh, certain evidence from happening. Alright, so I get to draw two cards. And it's another ball gown uh, sister. <laughs> and we got the creepy look. Let's see what this is. So, I never go back on my word which is an effect card where you shuffle your fate discard pile into your fate deck. Look at the top of four uh, uh, four fate cards and replace them in any order. I don't know how that works, though. Uh, but we also have, you must, uh, we have Ball Gown Drizella, just like Anastasia. You must discard the original Drizella from her realm in order to play her with the Ball Gown. So, so far I have two um, stepsisters dressed up for the ball, but I cannot play them because, you know. Uh, anyways, carefully, I have to put Lady Tremaine back to Cinderella's room to gain one, two, three power, and I can only discard one. Now, this is going real slow, but our time is running out, so we got to be careful. Okay, it's a 9, we draw a 1, and it's a trap. So let's see what this is. Um, place a token, a trap token on 
hero or, or so forth. Which will come in handy, but unfortunately I don't have any heroes. Well, it's not unfortunate, but I don't have any allies is what I'm trying to say. Um, I gotta carefully put this piece back to the castle again. It's like I'm I'm going the routine of going to the castle, going to Cinderella's room to gain some power and stuff. And I'm just going to simply discard one, and I can't play any of these. I cannot play any of these right now, so I have to automatically fate myself because of the location has a fate symbol. Let's see what we got. We got the same one, but we also got Booty Bobbity Boo. Remove a trap token from any hero. So both of these are pointless right now because I, I can't do anything unless there's a hero there. There's only an item, which is the glass slipper, and it needs to be destroyed in order for Tremaine to win the game. So, my fate has been cancelled, and we got another one of these condition cards. Great. So now, you know the routine. This is probably getting boring already. One, two, three. Gain three power, but I have to discard... I don't want to discard any of these because I need them. I need them for a reason. And let's roll the dice. And it's a four. So I'm assuming that I, get, that I got faded. And we have Jacques and Cinderella. So Jacques, when, when he was played or moved, discard one item from his new location. And I'm assuming the item that Lady Tremaine uses. But... We're going to discard him and play Cinderella. Uh, when Cinderella is in play, all effect cards, uh, uh, all effect cards cost two power. Uh, Cinderella may not be played if ball gown Cinderella is played. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and place um, Cinderella dressed in her maid uniform. We're going to place, actually we're going to place her right over here in the music room. And now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So I get to draw one card. There's still a chance. Yes, it is. And now we're down to the wire here. I really need Anastasia and Drizella. And I think I also need the invitation as well. But what I remember, I have to unlock the ballroom. I think I shuffled these cards to make it very difficult. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to the music room, which is the first time I've been, and I'm going to play, let's see, because this is a FEP card, it's supposed to have zero uh, power, but I'm going to have to spend two, because of Cinderella, um, to defeat her, and it doesn't matter which Cinderella it is. This is an automatic defeat by Cinderella. She's like, oh, I'm going to make your life miserable, according to Lady Tremaine. There we go. And because this is revealed, uh, I can either play another card or I gain two power back. And now because of the fate symbol, I have to automatically fate myself without rolling the dice. And we got another bibbidi boppity boo Unfortunately... We're going to go with Gus. Uh, while Gus is in play, uh, all item cards um, will cost two power. So he goes over... So he goes over here. Hold up. Hold up, I gotta make sure. It didn't say to put... Uh, Cin uh, in this card, it didn't say to put Cinderella in the in her room. So she is automatically defeated and put in the discard pile, which I'm assuming that is the case. So I draw one card and we got another one of these, which is very tedious because I don't need them. At least not yet. Oh my goodness, I gotta be very careful. So she goes back to Cinderella's room to gain one, two, three power, and I gotta discard two cards. Now we get to roll the dice. Whoops, I didn't mean to shuffle. Um, but I end up getting an 8, which means I don't get faded. 
a new condition card, and another trap. Which I couldn't use it, but I don't know. But let's check this one out. A uh, vicious, uh, partic uh, prat practical joke, excuse me. Uh, during uh, their turn, if another player uh, targets you with a fate action, you may play vicious practical jokes. Of the two fate cards chosen, you pick which card is played and where. Which, I may not be able to need that. Okay, sorry about that. I have a little bit of the burpees because I ate something. So now Lady Tremaine goes back to the castle to gain one power. Then she's going to discard two cards. Even though the trap will come in handy. Even though the trap will come in handy, but I just don't need it right now. And I don't have any item cards. And what's worse, I have to automatically fake myself, which makes things very, very difficult. I have a feeling, no, 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 I don't want it to be rotated. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm going to have to automatically, like, um, I think I'm going to automatically lose. We have another glass slipper. Uh, just like, um, just like this one, uh, it does not have to be attached to, uh, to any hero. But for the fairy godmother, when, when she was played, find the ball gown Cinderella while the fairy godmother, uh, is played, is in play. Only fake cards can move allies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a bit of a tough fee. That's a bit of a tough fee. But I'm going to go with the slipper again. And this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Without question. And this is exactly why I need. And you'll understand why. So this new card right here is Lady Tremaine's Cane. Um, this is a card that I needed to use, but unfortunately, uh, there is a problem with this. I need to have it activated, but everything is blocking the path. The only, uh, the only, uh, um, card that I see that could be activated, uh, not card, the only location is the ballroom, but it's, uh, but it's like, um, locked at this point. However, it can remove the glass slipper, which could be very handy right now. Very handy. But for the time being, I gotta carefully put Lady Tremaine in Cinderella's castle. No, Cinderella's room, excuse me. So I can gain one, two, three power. Then I gotta discard one for, for the time being. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not what I want to do. So, one, two, three. I just realized something. Instead of heading to Cinderella's room, she heads to the music room to practice her music skills. She's going to spend two power. She's going to spend two power. Um, and I'm going to use this card um, so that um, I could shuffle the discard pile and put it back to the deck. It doesn't matter where. It goes like this, then it goes on the bottom, and last but certainly not least, I think I have to draw two cards if I remember. Let's see what I get. Ooh, this is exactly what I needed right now. So I am going to spend one power. I don't know if that's how it works, but... I'm going to spend one power to place uh, Drizella right here, and then I'm going to keep this card until I go to the uh, to this location that has the discard. So for Drizella, discard Drizella from the realm to play the um, Drizella Ball Gown Drizella. Drizella may not be played if Ball Gown Drizella is in play. 
So, so far, we made some progress. I got one of Lady Tremaine's daughters to appear in the realm. She only has one strength, similar to Gus. And right now, the only thing that's left to do is... Let's see. The only thing left to do is to, like, discard and stuff. But for the time being, we gotta roll the dice. Oh dear, oh dear, it's a one. And of course we have Ball Gown Cinderella. And and we also have Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. So let's check out Ball Gown Cinderella real quick. So, discard Cinderella to play Ball Gown Cinderella. While Ball Gown Cinderella is um, in play, no allies may enter the ballroom. This card cannot be trapped. When Ball Gown Cinderella is defeated, find uh, both both glass slippers and play them. I think that is pointless right now because because two glass slippers is already played. So should I go ahead and play Cinderella regardless of the two glass slippers? This may be tricky, but I think that might be the case. So I'm going to place her on top um, of the glass slipper and stuff. And I don't get to draw anything, so that is it. So next up, I'm going to have carefully put the piece, the uh, Cinderella's room, to gain 1, 2, 3 power. And we're going to simply discard only 1. And that's it. That's definitely it. Oh, a 10, which means I don't get faded. And I draw one card. Oh, this is this is what I need. This is exactly is what I need. I needed a I needed an invitation. I needed this invitation. So, it costs 3 power. But what it does is that when the invitation from the king is played, unlock the ballroom. If the prince is not in play, find and play him to the ballroom. This will come in handy. This is definitely why I need it. And we get to activate this card if we wanted to. However, because Gus's effects, it's going to cost an extra 2 power, which means it's going to cost 5 power. But that's fine because... Um, because I, I do have enough to play. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and do probably two things right now. First, I'm going to spend 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 power because of this. And I'm going to play an invitation from the king so I can unlock the ballroom. And there you go. The ballroom is unlocked. Uh, and the next thing that I need to do, I need to find the prince because one of one of Tremaine's daughters has to marry him. And look, and look what we have here. Look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. The prince is the final fate card that is in here in the fate deck. So I'm going to place him in the ballroom, and there you have it. When the prince is revealed, you must play him immediately to the ballroom, even if it's locked. So, if the prince, if I manage to draw the prince in the fake deck, and even with this lock token being in the ballroom, he'll still be in the ballroom. So, yeah. Okay, and what else should I do? Oh, yeah, and the next thing I need to do, I need to... I need to spend two power to uh, get Ball Gown Drizella in there. And I have to discard the original. There we go. There we go. And I really need to remove one of these glass slippers. But I'll probably do that uh, on my next turn. 
So roll the dice. And it's a three. What a surprise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I draw two cards, let me drink some water. Oh, excuse me. It's refreshing and it helps my throat a bit when I'm doing commentary. All right, so let's see what we got in store. We got Bruno. Bruno, let's see. Yes, um, we don't have trap tokens in any location right now, so I think I'm going to play Bruno. Well, actually, there's a problem. I don't have Lucifer, so that fate has been canceled, and now I get to draw two cards. I got a trap and the wedding bells, which i definitely going to need, and we're down to nine rounds, so we need to hurry this up. We need to hurry this up. So... What I'm going to do right now is carefully, oh, I have to carefully put this uh, Lady Tremaine piece to the ballroom for the very first time. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to move uh, Drizella from the music room to the ballroom. I don't know if that's how it works, but I'm going for it. And then I think, let's see. I also get to activate something. But what I do, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to spin. Let's see. I'm going to have to spin one, two, three, four power because of Gus. Uh, I'm going to spin four power just to use this cane, just to place this cane here. And what it does is to remove a glass slipper, which I definitely need. I definitely need it. And then I'm and then I'm going I'm going to activate one of these item cards. Either the invitation, which to look uh the top two cards from the fake deck, discard one and leave the others face down on top. It seems a bit risky, but I'm going to activate uh Tremaine's cane to destroy this glass slipper. Now unfortunately there's also, like, one more glass slipper we need to, like, we need to destroy, and it's on top of Cinderella. But I think that's the rest of my, um, action so far. So, let's roll the dice. Oh, and it's an eight, so I draw three cards. Well, actually one. Oh, this is exactly what I needed. Yes. Yes. All right. So now I have to carefully place this piece in Cinderella's room to gain one, two, three power. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to play this card to defeat the ball gown Cinderella. There we go. And then the next thing that I'm going to do here is I have the app option to discard. I have the option to discard, but I think I'm going to move um, Lady Tremaine's cane right over here. And then I'm going to spend one power to, to place uh, Gus, to place uh, a trap token on, on Gus. This is the first time I use it. And I think that is it. So now I gotta roll the dice. And it's a four. Oh dear. Let's see what's in store. Hey, it rhymes. Okay, let's see. We got bibbidi bobbidi boo. No, we got fairy godmother, excuse me. And we also have Jack. Uh, when Jack is played or move, discard one item from his uh, new location. 
and I don't know if the invitation is going to count, and I don't know what its effect. I think it probably doesn't affect anything. At least I hope. So I'm going to play as Gus. And I'm going to place him right over here. And I'm going to remove the invitation. And now I gotta draw one card. And there you have it. Okay, so next thing that I'm going to do, carefully put Lady Tremaine in the ballroom. And what I'll do is I am going to activate Lady Tremaine's cane, destroy the last glass slipper, and Jack goes here. Then, let's see. Uh, the prince doesn't have strength. He is just a prince. Um, just, um, it's just like bowing to every maiden in the kingdom and stuff. So I activate the, the cane. What's next? I don't want to move Drizella, but I do want to play an item card. Which is going to cost me uh, five power. Well, technically, it's going to cost me six power, but I can't play it yet until I get that amount. So I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. And it's a one. Great. Which means it's not great. And oh my goodness. Look what we have here. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and play Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. What it does, this is an effect where you remove a trap token from a hero, then move that hero to a new location. Even though it's bad, but, but, it's going to be alright because I am going to place him back, I'm going to place him in Cinderella's room. Then I don't draw anything, so that's the end. Okay, so next up, carefully, there we go. Um, one, two, three power. And then I'm going to discard... I'm going to discard only one for now. And then I gotta roll the dice. Gotta roll the dice. And it's at 7. And then we have another one of these, and that is it. Now, this is where things get interesting. So, I'm going to go back to the ballroom. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to play this card. Even though Gus is going to cost me a lot of power. So, 4, 5, 6 power, I'm going to spend. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's see what it says. It says, um, can only be activated when the prince and either the ball gal Anastasia or ball gal Drizella are in the ballroom. And no glass slippers are in play. Activate this card to win the game. So I'm going to play this card right here in the ballroom. And then, I, I don't know if that's cheating or not, but I'm going to activate the uh, wedding bells. And now... It looks like um, the Prince and Drizella are happily married. So, there you go. I win. And now, we're going to find out. We're going to find out what happens if I get baited. Technically, it's to move an ally to any location. Move a trap token. This one is completely pointless. And this one may also be pointless since I win. But regardless of that, ladies and gentlemen, that is Lady Tremaine. Even though I'm even though I have not played her with the physical copy, because I don't have the physical copy at this time. But 
despite all of that, I have to say that it is very simple, but also very stressful due to the glass slippers and quite possibly uh, other things that gets in uh, your way to have one of Lady Tremaine's daughters to, to be married to the prince. So, yeah, I have to say it's the most stressful and, but it's, but it's still like, it's still an easy um, task to follow. So now, we still have one more villain from the Despicable Plots. And quite frankly, he is probably one of the most underrated villains in history. Reason why I said it is because there's this movie that was not as great, but it was terrifying. You already know what I'm referring to, and I'm not going to say any further, but you're just going to have to wait until the next video. And after this, I will be taking a little bit of a break from the Disney Villainous Tabletop Simulator games until there will be actual play pieces designs for bigger and better. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, playthrough. And all you have to do is leave a like and subscribe. Turn on these post notifications so you won't miss a single upload. And I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, stay safe and have a wonderful day.